hello friends welcome back to do it new youtube channel today we just look here the ndvi normal difference vegetation indices using the rgis pro software how to explore that just look at here applying the ndvi on the landsat 8 data just you go first on the new map options just click on that new map when the create the environment opening new map it is a self connectivity in the database connectivity all these options uh, are creating here you can look here the first options are drawing the order you can look here second options of the source of data source third option is a world topogra uh, topographic maps you can look me looking here just yes, and the editing options is also existing in between the and the list of the charts available so first we just adding here the landsat a data so you you also follow my previous uh, tutorials so that one is also useful to you just we focusing here just select the band 1 2 by using the control uh, button uh, you can just add all control and mouse click to uh, select all bands and just click on the ok button all band are coming here now uh, my focus to just band combinations for the ndvi so first i uh, composite the band so i need the band 1 2 band 7 uh, band composition so using the control button just click on the band 1 2 3 4 5 6 sorry uh, only 7 not more than 1 2 3 4 not even only and just go to the imagery options you can look here just select on that go to here process just band composite click on that band composite option you can look here the band composite is create now another uh, single band just disable you that uh, band are not required uh, not useful to uh, our practical session okay just focus on the composite band here uh, you can look here the band composite just extract the we explore that image this is a composite band uh, uh, that just click here uh, on this RGB band you can look here the symbology composite uh, primary symbology is RBG here you can choose the band combination so as uh, our choice uh, we can choose the band combinations our focus is a normal difference vegetation indices so first you go here the imagery options click on that and uh, go to the contents select here the composite band options and uh, you can look here the uh, in imagery having the options of the indices just click on that and first option is the normal difference vegetation index is a standard index allowing you to the generate you know, imaging displaying uh, greenness so related uh, relative to the biomass informations already all these information are just short information uh, describing here just click on that uh, you can look here the near infrared band index it is a band number in landsat uh, satellite uh, having the band number 5 so we are selecting here the band number 5 and uh, another uh, next band combination is a red band co uh, band index so red band is a band number 4 click on here you can look here the ndvi composite result are exploring just uh, uncheck the composite band you can look here just click on that symbology option are is open select here the color ramp uh, conditional numbers as you choose your level just selecting here the uh, difference vegetation indices uh, color ramp can look here the green vegetation stress image and normal stress vegetations and normal vegetation you can looking here this uh, 
crop uh, cultivated and uh, cutting in this uh, a locations you look here the space of the vegetations and this is a green ace area you can look here so hope uh, guys you enjoy in this tutorials uh, i show you how to uh, composite band and how uh, create the uh, normal difference vegetation indices so you can uh, another is options you can look here classified uh, option is also available for your uh, you easily looking here the information how you class are created here in five different class in all class uh, divided in the different colors so uh, I, we choose the color ramp as our choice you can look here okay uh, so guys uh, hope you enjoy in this tutorials just you can also uh, change the color ramp you can looking here So do not forget to share and subscribe my YouTube channel. We call that a Do It YouTube channel, and also press the bell icon so I continuously provide you the updation about my uh, tutorials.